Hi, welcome to the Kids Creation tutorial. In this tutorial, you will learn the basic features and navigation of the picture view and writing view of Kidspiration. Kidspiration is a great program for students to use to brainstorm ideas with words and pictures, organize and categorize information visually, create stories and descriptions using engaging visual tools, and explore new ideas with thought webs and visual diagrams. One thing about Kidspiration is it has um, a a speaking interface so whenever you go over an icon or um, a picture it's or any words it will actually say it to you for example reading and writing you can hear it talk to you it's great for the kids because it's easy for them to navigate we're going to begin today in picture view here is picture view um, down here at the bottom you're going to be able to change your font um, the way it looks, its size, you can bold print, italicize, underline, change the colors. Those are some great things. Up here you can easily go back to the main screen, you click in this little guy. You can go to writing view which will cha change your web into an outline. You can add symbols which we will be adding and linking symbols together. If you make a mistake just click on something, erase it, you have undo redo. The ear tool helps you read any helps the students read any words that are written already on here or written that they have written themselves. They can add their name to their paper by just clicking the name and writing their name. Jennifer Norris. And we talk. To okay. Them. Talk to them. And there's also a word guide. So if they are trying to, they don't know what a word means, they can look it up. Or if they're looking for a synonym for that word, they can look it up. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to create a web today, comparing contrasting two words. My students read a fable called the mouse going, went, to, went to the sea and in this fable the mouse felt two feelings. He felt peaceful and terrorized. So I had my students um, and the main idea they wrote the title of the poem and then I had them create I'm just gonna move this and then I had them create two symbols to, to, get to symbolize each of the words that the mouse felt when going to sea. He felt peaceful on his journey and he felt terrorized on his journey. And what I had the students do is I had them find pictures to, de to describe what peaceful is and what terrorized was because we're, again we were doing a vocabulary um, piece. What the students can do when they come here is it has great pictures for them to use. You have your general pictures right here. You can move through the picture categories by clicking the right arrow or you can go back and click the left arrow. You can also look at the different categories that there are. Math and so numbers. Here are all of the different Science. categories that there are and something and this, what the students did was they pretty much just went through these pictures to look at them. Again, if you want to just get really specific, you can. Animals and plants. Just go through Food them and, and click health. on them. Um, something that terrorized this mouse was a cat. So if you want, you can also, if, if you don't want to go through all the categories, you can just click the name of something you're looking for. So I look looking for a cat and I'm just going to choose a cat because a cat terrorized the mouse. So I'm going to put it over here under the terrorized. Um, something else that terrorized the mouse was a dog chasing it. So I'm going to put a dog in here. So just take it, clicked on it, and dragged it over, and there's my dog. And something else in the poem that terrorized this mouse was a car because it was trying to cross the road and this car came after it. So we're just going to put a car under terrorized as well. Something that the mouse felt peaceful about was he saw water um, at the beach. So this is a very peaceful picture, so we're going to put that on here. He also felt really peaceful when he was at home with his parents. So we're going to put a picture of a home in here to demonstrate that he felt peaceful as well. I actually don't like that picture, so I'm going to erase it. And I'm going to put this picture in there because it's a little more peaceful to me. So now we have these pictures that demonstrate the different feelings and we're going to link them together. So we're going to put peaceful, link it, peaceful, link it. Okay, so now I have everything all linked together. 
and I'm going to take my now my diagram is done so I'm going to take it over to writing view and notice that everything that we had in our writing view is or in our picture view is now in our writing view um, in here the students can write sentences about what they wrote um, this is a great piece for students to practice writing their BCRs um, terrorized the mouse felt terrorized and again this is great because they can start using transition words the first thing that terrorized the mouse was a cat chasing it and trying to eat it. So as you can see the students can write sentences. Um, students can also record sound um, to go with their pictures. For example, if they wanted to create a sound for this, they could click the picture, go to sound, sound. and go to Play. record. It's simple because all they need is a microphone and they just click the record button and record, record whatever they would like to say. So we're going to record. The mouse felt peaceful at the ocean and by the water. When they're done, stop. they can just click stop and save. And notice that the micro, uh, there's a little speaker that goes right next to the picture. And if we take it right back over to picture view, you will again see that symbol there showing that they recorded a sound. So we can just listen to it. The mouse felt peaceful at the ocean and by the water. So they can hear it. And sometimes it helps for students to rehearse what they're going to write, what they're going to write um, by saying it before they write it. So these are some great things that students can use. So here are two ways that the students can do this. Um, say the students forgot an idea. Say they said, oh, I forgot. Something else that the, made the, the mouse peaceful was food. So they can add an idea. And notice it goes right there. We're just going to add a word above it saying food. Um, <coughs> the mouse felt peaceful when he ate his cheese. So again, they can, they can add ideas. Pretend they put it in the wrong spot. They can move ideas. Maybe that's the first thing they want to talk about. Whatever is added here or moved here is also changed in the picture view. So it all stays together and flows together really well. The last thing I want to show you is word. the word guide. The word guide is a great thing because it's, if the students don't know what a word means, they can look it up. They will be given a definition, the, pronunci the pronunciation of the word, the definition Listen. of the word, and some synonyms to use instead of the word that they did use. Listen. Um, so this is a great thing to use. For example, if they didn't know what peace meant, they could write, they could look that up. And again, they can see the definition for that. So we're going to close this. And the last thing they can do is they can save it. Publish. And they can publish this to a Word document. And then if they choose to go to a Word document, their organization picture view will be there and everything that they wrote will be there so they can just click it and drag it and kind of just create a piece that looks like a paragraph instead of just an outline. So that's a great thing for to use with this as well. We're going to go back to Kidspiration and that is your basic ideas of how to use it. We're going to quickly save Bye. this as mouse at C and we're going to go back to the home view. And when you're back to your home view, you can, you can go to your different activities. You can open a file. Maybe the kids, students need to add or change the file that they just created so they can go back to open a file. There are also pre-made activities here for you to use with your students if that is helpful at all. I hope this was helpful and informative to you, and I hope that you were able to use this with your students in your classroom to help them gain better ideas. Have a great day.